Can you hear me now? <laughs> hey, Yvonne. I washed my hair. I washed my hair. So I wasn't going to come on, but I was having some issues. I just wanted to check in to see how the fast was going. <laughs> it's good to see me. Oh, you just broke it. Okay. Yeah. I've been doing, I've been fasting 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. God bless you. God bless you. Is it still frozen? Okay. 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 So you can hear me. Brown. I'm trying to give it a few minutes for um, some of the people to come in. Hey, Maquella. How you been? I'm just checking in to see how the fast is going, y'all. Hey. God bless you. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. Have y'all been keeping strong? Have y'all been holding strong on this fast? Okay, good, McQuilla. That's good. Do you feel like you have a better understanding of Esther, of the book of Esther? Mm, 
Yeah. Yeah, I like Esther. Lord, we need you. She did. That's exactly what she said. If I perish, then let me perish. It's going good. Now, don't forget why you're fasting to be seeking God. To be seeking God. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. Yeah. We need you, Jesus. Okay. I'm not going to stay for long. I just wanted to, to check in. today yeah. mm -hmm. well that's good I'm glad that it's been going good for you guys okay May 28th School will be out not long. We need you, Jesus. Oh, we need you, Jesus. Can't do it on my own. I need you. I need you, Lord. Okay, y'all get on the twenty out on the twenty six. Mine doesn't get out until June seventh, I think. He's really dealing with you on hush and wait. It's hard not to put people in their place. Hey, Vin. Tina, I'm doing good. Mm, yeah, we have to step out of our own way. Anybody else need God? Cause I really, really need the Lord. 
Amen, McCullough. That's right. I really, really need the Lord. Oh, I really, really, really need the Lord. You know, our faith has to come up. Our faith has to come up. When you are praying and you're believing God to do things in your life, especially miraculous things, your faith has to line up. It has to match up with what you're asking God for. It has to line up. It has to match up with what you are asking God for. Yes, all is well. I've been fasting, so I haven't been up here much. And that's what I say when people when I when I see people lusting after certain roles. There are some people that just really want the prophetic. They want to be prophets. They want to be apostles. But it's it's like, do you understand what all that entails? It's not glitz and glamour. It's really not. It's not glitz and glamour. It's really not. If you knew how much I had to sacrifice, if you knew how much I had to fast, if you knew how much I had to give up, how what I've had to walk away from, if you only knew. That's right, much is required. People don't understand. Even before we started this Esther fast, I was already in fasting. I was already in fasting. I really, really need the Lord. And, and let's get an understanding. Fasting is not a weight loss plan. Amen. It's a spiritual tool. It is a tool. It is a sacrifice. Amen. So, <laughs> I used to joke with a friend of mine, and I would tell her, I'm going to be in a size six by the end of this, all this fasting that I have to do. But it's, it's, it's not a weight loss plan. It's a spiritual tool. <laughs> I see you, Alexis. And God, and God may have called them. Many are called. God may have called them. But just because God calls you, doesn't mean that that's that is what you step out into in that moment because God calls you and when you say yes when you accept him then you go through a process of being qualified 
right? So God can call you. God can call you to be a prophet. He can call you to be a pastor. He can call you uh, to be a, 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 an apostle, excuse me. But that doesn't mean that, that the moment I say yes, that is what I'm walking in. God has to qualify you. You're not qualified when you say yes. God takes you up through a process. He takes you through a process. Because he's not going to just sling you out there to the wolves until he knows that you are ready to fight the wolves. Until he knows that you are ready to kill and destroy the wolves. He's not going to just sling you out. Understand me. So many are called. God can call you. But when you say yes, that doesn't mean that you are ready in that moment to walk in the calling. To walk in the anointing. To walk the way you have to walk. You have to walk heavy. Amen. You have to walk heavy. So when you say yes and you accept the call, God sends you through a process. He processes you. That process could take a year. It can take five years. Depending on you. God can do a speedy a speedy turnaround. It could take six months. It depends on you. It depends on your faith, your level of faith. It depends on your diligence. Amen. God prepares you. Did you want to come up, Yvonne? God prepares you. He doesn't just throw you out in the deep end. He has to make sure that you are ready. Amen. He's not going to sling you out into the wolves until he knows that you are capable of destroying them. So many people are putting are putting names and titles <laughs> and giving themselves names and so-called titles. Just because he called you to that does not mean that is what you are ready to walk in. Especially prophets. I'm, I'm seeing so many people calling themselves prophets right now. Just because you were called to that doesn't mean that that is what you are ready to walk in. God has to send you through a process. This process not only prepares you, but it purifies you. It teaches you how to stay humble and submitted to God. It teaches you how to function in that calling, in that seat, in that office. It teaches you. It equips you. Amen. It's like God, God will send you through a boot camp. Amen. He'll send you through a boot camp. He teaches you how to fight from the level that he is calling you to. He doesn't just throw you out in the deep end. I don't call you today. And then that is what you're walking in today. The devil is a liar. God trains you. He has to make sure that you are equipped. You are prepared. To walk in what it is he is calling you to walk in. Amen. Y'all, I be wanting to just... And this is one in particular. And God have to... Reel, he has to reel me back in. Because I just want to tell her, bless her heart. Baby, just because God called you. Doesn't mean that is what you're ready to walk in right now. You need some training. I, I just want to, I be wanting to just hop in and just, but God has to pull me back and say, that's not your assignment. Don't deal with that. Don't deal with that. That's not your assignment. Amen. Y'all. Y'all. I just want to be like, baby, <laughs> I need you to go get healed first. Go get healed from the trauma. Amen. Learn how to pray first. Learn how to war in the spirit first.
<laughs> God teaches you. God sends you through that. He sends you through training. Or either he sends someone. He will send people. y'all see y'all got me here ready to preach and I just came up here just to check in real quick y'all got me ready to preach and I just came to check in amen he will <laughs> Amen. Y'all. Lord have mercy. Got me here with this rag on my head. First of all, TikTok playing games. TikTok is playing games. <laughs> She's like, I got an old bonnet on. Amen. My hair is wet. I wash my hair. Fast is going good. Yvonne, come up for come up with me for a minute. Oh Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hello. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, Prophet. Sorry, I'm I'm eating. <laughs> I'm sorry. Girl, I was hungry. Mm -mm. Yeah, break oh my God. <laughs> yes. you, you know you know you know when, when you're like okay you know what like lord i know you see me but you see me looking at that clock like my goodness <laughs> when are we gonna break this fast <laughs> yeah so i had to, i had i had to get some food <laughs> it's good to see you prophet thank you hey miss um let me tell you the enemy is so big is so is big mad like i was praying for a woman today I don't know if you hear my voice. My voice is like, is almost done so. Um, Cause I was, I was a girl. I don't, I, I don't know what happened to me, but the past couple of days I've been going on live and just praying. Mm -hmm. Like one, one day I think we were there for like eight hours. I was like, Lord, who am I? <laughs> who am I? I'm over here for eight hours praying, and like you don't even feel tired. Like God, it's like God like renews your strength. Um, but the enemy, he's big mad. He's big mad about it. <laughs> I remember that day because I, I got on that morning and then um, later that, that evening I got on you were, and you were still on live. I Girl. said, okay, I'm here. I said, okay. <laughs> All right. <Girl. laughs> On oh, my God. My God. My God. You know what? But I'm so grateful for you, Prophet Renee. Um, even yet, like, the, 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 the women that come on the live and somebody was asking about like strategic prayer and i'm mm -hmm. over here like listen let me tell you it's strategic it's it's operational it's tactical <laughs> i was like you know what my Amen. coach is so proud of me she would be so <laughs> proud of me and I've, I've been sending like your videos on youtube mm -hmm. um the, the two videos that you have about spiritual warfare i've sent that over as well mm -hmm. like um i'm just so honored to like have met you um, and you. I just praise God. I, I'm just so grateful for you, Prophet. Like I really am. I really am. And and I think I'm gonna I'm gonna post more about that video, the the strategic, um, operational and tactical, mm -hmm. um, and just send people over to your YouTube channel because I think it's gonna help so many people. Because I realized I realized the people that are coming on live and I'm praying for they don't know how to pray right mm -hmm. they don't know how to pray and i was like listen i was the i was that person i was that girl just shooting and everything 
<laughs> Shooting at everything. I was like, Lord, I want them all out. Get them all out, you know? <laughs> slinging them everywhere. Slinging them bulls everywhere. Right, right, right. And mm-hmm. so I was like, wow, like, it makes sense why the Lord had me meet you and, like, come across your your video because I would still be here trying to figure this thing out, you know? Mm-hmm. I would still be here trying to figure this thing out. And it's good that he's also bringing people that don't know how to war in the spirit. So now I'm going to, I think I'm, I'm going to make a video. I'm going to make a video and tag you. I'm going to be like, listen, I did not know how to fight in the spirit. But let me tell you, Coach Renee, she got you. <laughs> Amen. Amen. That's funny. So, <laughs> I just want to, I just want to, I just want to love on you, girl. Like, you're just so amazing. Um, so much peace. You bring so much peace. Girl, when I got, when I got out of that, that live, I was like, oh my God, can I just see proper Renee right now? I need to calm down. I need some peace. <laughs> <laughs> I need some peace, girl. <laughs> and let me tell you, I'm so glad, I'm so glad you, you asked me to come online because I want to ask you something. Mm-hmm. Um, so now that I'm, the Lord is really helping me so much with like my gifting and training me on how to speak, what to speak about. Um, but like people come back and they're like, Oh, I need confirmation for this. I need confirmation for that. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, Lord, they need to go back to you, you know? Yeah. They need to go back to you. And I'm like, okay, well, I don't want to be rude. (laughs) I don't want to be rude. Yeah. But but there's something in me that I'm like, listen, the the we started this as go to God nation, like go to God, you know, yeah. mm-hmm. so I'm grateful just to be a vessel. I'm just a human being. I'm just a vessel like I'm not God. So when you're asking for confirmation, I'm like, listen, go, go to God. <laughs> there's a confirmation, you know, yeah, yeah. Because, because the confirmation, first of all, should already be within you. Your spirit should confirm whatever the prophecy is. Right. right? If, it, if it doesn't, then you just kind of stick a pin in it, and then you take it to God later on, or you take it to mm-hmm. God in that moment, and then you and you allow God to give you that confirmation. It, it's not my job to confirm that for you. You know what I mean? It's not <laughs> because I'm not God. Hello, hello. I'm so, I'm so glad you said that, Prophet Renee, because I was like, Lord, um, I am not on their payroll. I'm on your payroll. <laughs> right. Right. You know, you know, because I feel like some people get mad if you don't respond to them at a certain time, if you're not praying for them. I'm like, listen, I'm on assignment. I'm on God's assignment. Like he has me praying for this person, that person, this person. Right. I'm just mm-hmm. doing my best. I'm just doing my best. And that's, that's exactly what I said to, to the Lord. I was like, listen, Lord, I'm on your payroll. I'm not on no one's <laughs> payroll. <laughs> God, you got me. First of all, you got me on this assignment. If it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be up here. And that's what I, I, hello. I was telling somebody. I said, if it wasn't for the fact that the Lord told me specifically, you know, because I, y- y'all know me. God, tell me, give me instructions. Give me from, give me A to Z. What it is? <laughs> what is it that you want me to do? Right. And if it wasn't for that, honey, I wouldn't be up here. <laughs> I, I wouldn't. Sure wouldn't. Right. Now, if I met right. you in the street. I pray prophesied all prophesied all day. But you talking about getting up here on social media on live, no less. Wow. You got, wow. And then you got them. You got some clowns coming in the comments trying to um trying to set you off. And mm. I'm tired. I don't have the time. To, I, I literally do not have the time to play play with people. Yeah. So, yes. Hey, so baby. true. Right. So true. Like I just mute them. I don't have time. I'm like, listen. Um, God bless you. Mute. God bless you. Mute. God bless you. Mute. You know, Mm -hmm. because I don't want I don't want the enemy to like have me going left when I'm here to like help people that are in need. You know what I mean? So, Mm -hmm. um, but today prophet, like, oh my God, there was a woman that I was praying for. It got really intense (laughs) and I didn't even think I was ready for that kind of warfare. Mm -hmm. And like the, the spirits that were attached to her and her home that were attacking her, they tried to come for me. And I was like, Oh no, 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 no. You're not going to come swinging for me. I know that's right. The Lord was like helping me out. He helped me out so, so much. But, and I just kept going. I was like, listen, I'm not going to back down to evil. So we just kept warring in the spirit. I'm like, Holy spirit, have your way. I'm mm-hmm. like, listen, the consuming five God, I was calling out everything. I was like, exactly. the chief angels. Like, I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. But then you said something so important. You were like, listen, the Lord's going to train you for this before right. you even start warring. And mm-hmm. I, and I, it hit me, it hit, it hit me when you said that I was like, wow. Like I remember when I didn't know nothing about warring prophet mm-hmm. i did not know nada i know nothing 
nothing. <laughs> and like I was just out there in the streets, just like the, em the enemy just kept swinging at me, and I just kept taking it because <laughs> I did not know. I did not know. Mm -mm. I know, um, but I'm just so honored. I'm so honored. I'm so grateful for you, Prophet, because another thing is I wouldn't have been on this fast, by the way. <laughs> I, w <laughs> I would not have been on this fast. With transparency. I would, <laughs> I would not be on this fast. <laughs> and then you got on live and you were like, listen, we're doing the Esther fast. And I, I could hear the Lord <laughs> tagging at my heart. I was like, Lord. <laughs> uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I was like, Lord, are we doing another fast? I was like, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm glad I did because um, in doing that and like praying for other people, like it's like the Lord took me to like another. Another level. Mm -hmm. Another level, another level. So I'm just so honored. I'm so honored to have met you, Prophet. Like for real, for real. Like nobody better come for you because I'm going to be like, listen, you better get off the Prophet. You better get off the Prophet. <laughs> Girl, you don't know. They already done tried to come for me. Honey, yes. <laughs> they already done tried to come for me. Yeah. People, trying to, people trying to call me counterfeit and everything else. But you know what? Who cares? Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. on, as long as I'm on it. Because when you are on assignment, you don't have yeah. to fear about anything like that because God got you. As long as you are That's in true. alignment with God, as long as you are doing yeah. what God is instructing you to do, you yeah. don't have anything yeah. to fear and worry about. So just like when you said yeah. today, you were on live and you were praying and you were warring and the spirits were even trying to come against you then, you didn't have anything to fear why because mm -hmm. you were on assignment amen 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 so true so true and like the the the, the woman we were praying for okay so the first time we started praying like the lord was like mm -mm, mm -mm. She, she she has to break off some some legal things that were binding her to these things and so mm -hmm. i started praying and, and the lord was like mm -mm, no 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 so i'm like listen is there anything that you're thinking about unforgiveness unrepentance because that's what kept, kept coming up mm -hmm. and so she was like she was like she was thinking about it, she was thinking about it and then when she finally uh, forgave she chose to forgive like the people that were um that she 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 had that unforgiveness um <clears throat> in her heart we started warring and my god my god my god the holy spirit was like okay we're good we're good because the lord was like listen those this those things have not left yet they haven't left mm -hmm. and so and it's interesting because he was training me as well on that call i was like hold up i'm being i'm in training too <laughs> i'm in training too <laughs> mm -hmm. i'm in training too but let me tell you when the peace of the holy spirit when i could feel the peace of the holy I feel so much peace and I was like whoa wow 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 and then it makes sense that the that the Lord has trained me uh, prior to this call like all the things I've been through like I was like wow wow that's what's up Lord that's what's up so um I'm just glad that I that I was a part of the the fast because of you because of you prophet because of you <laughs> if it wasn't for you um, I would not have been doing this fast, but I'm just so glad mm -hmm. I, that I did. And that's what I was, that's what I was saying. I was already fasting. I was already fasting. Mm -hmm. And I, rem I was on the, y'all know I, I do a lot of traveling as so I was on the road on the way, on the way home. And the Lord said, um, a seven day Esther fast. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> looking forward to like my seafood and my fried fish and all that. Oh, hello. And so hello. I was like, okay, okay, Lord. <laughs> I know you wouldn't be asking me to do this for no reason. Let me tell y'all something. And I have a lot of different stories, but I'm just going to tell you this. This one, because um, I can talk about myself all day, but I'm going to tell you this. When I was younger, um, driving age, I don't remember exactly how old I was, but I was driving age. And yeah. um, now my mother, she was a fasting mama. Y'all hear me? I'm talking about prayer and fasting. I'm talking about the, the type of fast and she would go five days, no food, no drink, you know, and then, yeah. you know, eat a little on the weekend and then do it all over the next week. She did that for like several months at a time. Yeah. And I remember I got in a car accident, a really bad car accident. Mm -hmm. And here's the thing, y'all. Here's the thing. So I was driving. Let me set the stage for you, first of all. <laughs> Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> y'all, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm laughing, so y'all know I'm about to say something crazy. <laughs> Let me set the stage for y'all. First of all, I had got off work, went home, took my shower, did my hair. I was a little skinny little thing too. I thought it was cute because mm -hmm. you, know, mm -hmm. you know, put my little cute clothes on, got in my car. I was going to the movies to meet a boy. Yeah, right. Uh huh. And um, so I'm not thinking of anything of it. 
you know, I'm driving. And so because of my giftings, I always, since I was a child, I would, people would say it's spaced out, but I'm really elsewhere, right? My yeah, spirit yeah. Is, is really elsewhere or either I'm seeing something in the spiritual realm. And so yeah. I was driving and it was like, I was looking, I don't know, but I had lost time, right? While I was mm-hmm. driving. And so I remember coming back to myself and I was sitting at the, at the, um, the stoplight and it was like a, it was a left turn, you know, so you have oncoming traffic. I'm coming mm-hmm. off the, I'm, I came off the highway and I'm getting ready to turn. Mm-hmm. And, um, for some reason, you know how like the, your, the turning light would be red, but the, 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 the lights beside you will be green. And mm-hmm. if you're not paying attention, you'll mistake yep. their green light. Oh, your green light. Facts, facts, so that's facts. what happened. So I began mm-hmm. to pull out. My mind is still elsewhere. Mm, mm, <laughs> mm, I mm. Hit. Now, I am the, so you know how you come out the highway, you're up on a bridge, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so the light, so when it hit, the car hit me, I was going over the, the edge of the bridge onto the mm-hmm. highway. My car was my going God, my God. to go over the, the, the bridge oh, my God. to the, the oncoming traffic below the bridge. Mm-hmm. I was so stunned by the hit mm. that I couldn't move. I couldn't do anything, but I could see everything happening. My God, my God. Time slowed, right? Mm. I mm. felt the angel of the Lord drop down into the car. Mm. I felt the wings spread across me. My God. And the angel reached across me and turned the steering wheel. My God, my, my God. My car ended up into the the same lane that I was in, the turning lane. Yeah. And and, <clears throat> and all I had to do was hit the brake. Wow. Wow. My car, the angel of the Lord parked my car. <laughs> my God, my God. The lane. My and, then, and so the, so what I used to do, because I grew up in church, mm-hmm. but at that time, you know, I, I'm, I'm young. I'm like, I'm just going to do me. But yeah. I had a Bible, a, a Bible open under my driver's seat. Wow. And so when I got out, my aunt somehow was the first one there. Wow. Okay. And she looked and saw the Bible. She was like, that's the only reason you're alive. My wow. mother gets to the scene and she said, and she looked at me, and she it was like she was mad, but she was, like, happy, but she was mad. Hmm. And she was like, so you the reason I couldn't eat? You the reason? <laughs> you the reason I've been fasting? Because she was fasting. <laughs> she was like, this child. Like, you, the reason, yeah. like, you the reason I couldn't eat nothing? <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, so, man. You know, and... And I'm laughing. I can laugh at it now, but I was looking at her like she was crazy. Like, you realize I almost just lost my life. <laughs> she was she was counting down to the rib chips. Uh huh. <laughs> and I told her, and I said, "Mom," because she said, and she, I remember her saying to me, "Like you don't like something about you not wanting to be saved, but yeah, you know, I bet. But I bet when that car hit you, you called on the name Jesus. Mm. He mm. sure did got me all the way together." <laughs> Sure, got me all the way together. Wow, wow, wow. And, uh, so, you know, and that's just one of many experiences, right? Yeah. And, um, so fasting, when God is calling you to fast, mm. we have to be obedient, right? Because yeah. we don't know what we are interceding for because fasting is a position of intercession. Mm. Whether mm. it be for yourself, mm. whether it be for your family, whether it be for your bloodline, mm. whether it be for strangers, it, mm. fasting is a position of intercession. My God, my God, you, there's so much depth. David, to you. you said because of some little boy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even read that. I didn't even read that. Was that Apostle Tommy? <laughs> yes. Oh, because you, you, you were looking cute. Those. You were looking cute. I was, I, was looking, yeah. I was looking for that man without no little muscles, <laughs> with them muscles, not muscles, muscles. I was looking for him, but you know uh-uh. what? He, he didn't hear from me after that. I was like, you know what? <laughs> That's a sign. That's a sign, like no. <laughs> That's a big sign. Uh, the Lord was like, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> exactly. I was wow. like, you ain't got to worry about me. You ain't got to worry about me. Wow. That's a powerful <laughs> testimony, Prophet. It That's was on the straight and narrow. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, honey, I got stories for days. I got I got testimonies for days. I mean, I mean, I have I have had literal agents of darkness, a darkness on assignment to take my life since I was in the womb. 
My there have goodness. been so many instances where I have mm. almost died. You know, mm. near death experiences. Mm. But, mm. but mm. God, I but mean, God. So, you know what? Like as you're speaking, prophet, like it's like the Lord is showing me, like at, at your conference, like mm -hmm. you're sharing these testimonies. Mm -hmm. Like you're sharing these testimonies at the at your conference, and it's like the women are all like in awe, like what you know, <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. what. So I'm I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Um, my God, my God, wow, the Lord is so good. He is. He loves he loves you so much. He loves you so <laughs> much, prophet. Um, so I'm gonna share this with you. So. Um, probably I'd say, um, probably about, I'd say maybe two months ago, like you, you don't know this, but he had me intercede for you and it was honestly the most beautiful intercession because, you know, when the Lord, when, I feel like, I feel like the Lord has favorites. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he has favorites. Like I always ask him, I, he, I always ask him, I'm like, Lord, I know you got some favorites. I'm sorry. Because sometimes when, when he has you interceding, you're like, uh-uh, you love, you love this one a little bit extra. You love this one a little bit extra. <laughs> Not favorites. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. But like, um, like the Lord just loves you so much. Amen. He loves you so much. And I'm just looking forward to your journey ahead. Um, I just know it's going to be so beautiful. And I'm so glad to be a part of it and to witness it. Because, um, you know, you, you like you speak to people and you don't realize like how much you're helping them grow. And I feel like that's you. Like, I don't think you realize the impact you have on others. Um, I feel like you speak, but your your speech is so powerful. You don't even realize it properly. Like you, you'll say something, and I'm like, hold up, that's a mic drop moment. And she just moved on to the next thing. She uh -huh. just moved on to the next thing. And I'm like, that's a mic drop moment right there. Um, but you don't realize how much you really affect people in a, in a great way. And you've helped me grow so much spiritually. Um, and I'm just so glad. I'm so glad that the Lord connected us. But just like, just whenever you feel down, girl, please holla at me. If you want me to boost that up, I will boost <laughs> you up because you know mm -hmm. what? Sometimes the enemy, he swings at you and you feel like you're just like on this journey by yourself, but you're not. Like there's so many people that you're really, really, really impacting in their lives. And I'm just so... I'm just so glad to be a part of it. I really, really am. I really, really am. Um, and I know I'll be nagging you. Like, uh, are you coming on live, Prophet? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know what? Don't stop. Don't stop. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you know the enemy has been attacking. You know, it, yeah. and it doesn't. It doesn't affect me. Um, the fullest extent of it doesn't affect me. Yeah. Because I am prayerful. Because I I stay fasting and things like that. However, yeah. the enemy still does attack right mm -hmm. but so just keep doing that because more than likely the lord is putting that on your heart to remind me girl get up here you know because <laughs> i feel like he's trying to lead me back to a, being on like more every day than um coming on every once in a while you know what i mean but yeah i you know i'm just like with my fasting and everything i try not to be up here yeah. But I just wanted to come on today. I was like, I don't know. I just felt pressed to come on today just to check in on you guys to make sure the fast was going good and everything like that. Um, and I was laughing. I was talking to you earlier when the TikTok kept messing up because I was like, okay, Yvonne, I see you up here um, <laughs> warning and traveling. Hey. Hey, on, on your lives. <laughs> hey, let me tell you. But let me tell you, Prophet, like the number of testimonies that have come through. I'm like, listen, nobody can tell me there isn't a God. You can't tell me there isn't a God. I'm telling you. I'm mm -hmm. telling you. But but you're so right. Like the power of fasting. Like that's how I got delivered um, the first time. Mm -hmm. I was in a, I was in a, on a, fa a three day fast, a water fast, and the Lord was teaching me about deliverance. And then he was like, Yvonne, go, go on an, um, take, no, get one more day extra of, of fasting, but this time don't drink any water. I was like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> <You're> like what? <laughs> mm -hmm. but I'm telling you, I was obedient. And then he delivered me like in my apartment by my soul, by myself, full manifestation. Um, and I just depended on the Holy Spirit, but I'm telling you prophet, like no fear. When I tell you no fear, my first time, no fear, mm -hmm. all because of the Lord. Uh, but when we're when we were obedient, he was tagging in my heart. When you said the Aster Fast, he was tagging in my heart. I was like, Lord. <laughs> Lord. Like, Lord. <laughs> I don't know you if know? I'm strong enough. I know, I know. But like mm -hmm. honestly, like the best decision. Like honestly, he's really, he's really showing me like new things, and I'm just so honored. I'm so, so mm -hmm. honored. Um, so yeah. Thank you. You're just you're you're so amazing, Prophet. Like, don't let the Thank enemy you. come for you. 
Don't let him come for you. Don't don't come for the enemy. No, no, no. We're gonna swing <laughs> right back at him. We're gonna war for you, girl. Mm-hmm. We're gonna war for you, all right? Amen. <laughs> Amen. That's what I was saying. Like whenever you whenever you feel that you and anybody else up here, whenever yeah. you feel that, just go ahead, um, pray, intercede, or whatever. Um, because you know, when you get you would it's a saying in the black church. Um, a, with another level comes a different devil or something. Mm, but mm. um, I want to, I do want to say that that when you do elevate, you do face things, you do face um spiritual enemies. Excuse me, I'm trying to get this little stand to work right. Um, no worries, spiritual, no worries. Spiritual enemies that yeah. are stronger than before. Why? Because now you have elevated, and the yeah. same um entities that were that were after you before, they are no longer on your level. So now they have to get reinforcements. Now they have to pass it on to people to the um the level of um the money entities that are on the level that you are on because believe True. it or not there are spiritual rankings mm, mm, mm. there are spiritual rankings mm-hmm. mm. Mm, very true very true like the 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 woman i was praying for today like the lord was like these the the, the demons that she was praying against those were low level the ones that need to go that's the mm-hmm. next level i was like oh <laughs> so i was yeah. like girl if you can find out what that legal right is that unforgiveness unrepentance mm-hmm. you, you better you better come through with it while we're still on the live you know and she did i'm so i'm so grateful she did but you're so right because i'm telling you prophet like he had me renounce a few things um in my own mm-hmm. family's bloodline and girl, let me tell you, I'm going to share this with you. <clears throat> <laughs> I was, I was, I was asleep and the Lord woke me up in the middle of the night. And I, you know, you know, you know, you know, sometimes you're just so tired when he wakes you up and you know, he wants you to get up and like pray, but you're just so tired. And girl, I closed my eyes for two seconds and I heard a growl. I said, oh, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. I was like, oh, in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, I got up so fast. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm like, listen, I'm in a war. I'm in a war. Mm-hmm. But, but it, 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 even though even though it startled me, like it's like the Lord takes the fear out of you. It's so yeah. interesting. But that thing growled. I said, oh, okay. I, I hit I hit another. That's another level right there. That's another mm-hmm. level. But yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's there something. was a uh, there was an instance where the Lord was showing me something that had been leashed in the earth. Right. He had yeah. given me a dream. But at, in that at that time in in that period of my life, I was being heavily attacked with witchcraft. Yeah. And um. And I remember the Lord because I'm a seer. So when I was, I was laying in the bed and I was not asleep, but I was looking and I was seeing the different things entering. It was one of them was the the actual witch itself mm. that came in, and she didn't know that I could see her. Mm. And she didn't know I could see her, and I was just watching her, and she was just walking around monitoring. She was just walking around looking. She wasn't, mm. you know, doing anything like trying to cast no spells or nothing like that she was just literally just coming in being nosy looking yeah. trying to see you know yeah. and i was looking at her <clears throat> and when she caught wind that i could see her because she she started she turned to go out and head like towards my son's bedroom mm. and i was like no, where no. are you going get out mm, mm, mm. yeah yeah <laughs> and she turned and looked at me and um and then she looked beside me Mm. And then when she did that, I felt a presence enter the room. It wasn't a heavenly presence. It was oh, a demonic yeah. presence. I felt a presence mm. enter the room mm. and it growled, right? Mm. But it wasn't like a regular growl. It was like, you know how like the T-Rex on Jurassic Park? Oh, ooh, child. Like, when you watch Jurassic Park. <laughs> ooh, child, like right. that. Mm-hmm. And um, she did it, but I didn't turn my head. I kept my eyes on her. Yeah. And then she looked back at me. And then she kind of like smirked, like you got bigger issues to deal with, you know. Mm. Like she gave me that kind of, and she mm. turned and left. And I was like, Lord, I don't know what you got going on in here. Mm-hmm. I began to pray, you know, whatever. I was like, Lord, I don't know what what's going on up in here. I don't yeah. know what you got me dealing with, but yeah. it ain't cool. It ain't cool. Mm. And I fell asleep. Mm. I didn't get up in the morning. But you know, and the Lord has, you know showed me some things gave me some revelations about some things that were being that were going to be leashed in the earth and that was connected to what he was showing me so i was dealing with two separate things in that that night so it was like the lord was showing me who was monitoring me but he Mm. was also showing me and giving me a deeper revelation of what he was trying to tell me earlier in the day and so i was like listen you we got to let's get a schedule together (laughs) 
schedule. I know. But, um, I know. Well, it's something. I, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, the Lord is like, listen, um, mm -hmm. it's happening right now. I was like, oh, I wasn't ready, Lord. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. But listen, mm -hmm. I'm so, but I'm so glad for the revelation. Like, honestly, like, I, I love listening to stories about this. Like, I really do. Like, I could listen to this all day. <laughs> I could listen mm -hmm. to those testimonies all day, prophet. So I don't know what, what, you, what you have planned for the conference, but listen, whatever testimonies you want to share, whatever experiences you want to <laughs> share, like I am mm -hmm. all in, I'm all in, but it also, it also like, I can only imagine like what your ranking is girl. Like you're, you're probably like way up there. We can't even see you. <laughs> we can't even see you. Like you're, you're, <laughs> you're <I'll take> it. <laughs> your ranking I'll is like all the way up there. We probably can, we probably can't even see you. Um, but I mean, well, wow. God is so good. God is so good. Um, and I think last time, um, when you were on the call, I think you were talking about New York and I'm just like girl man um I just I just pray that um like a lot of the people that come on the lives I'm just like I just pray that they they pray they get back to praying and, and worshiping the Lord um because I'm noticing like a lot of a lot of times like a lot of people are not praying they're not praying they're like going to bed they don't have the the arm of God and I'm just like wow Lord like I really pray that people step up with their prayers because we're, we're walking into different times you know yeah we're walking to different times and you got to stay prayed up and protected, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, oh, hey, Ryan. Hey, Ryan. I see, I see Brian on the, on the comments. He said beyond the clouds. I know we can't even see yeah. prophet no more. Prophet is like <laughs> all the way up there. Ranking, <laughs> ranking unknown. <laughs> ranking unknown. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So I'm, yeah, we I'm have just... to be praying because yeah. um, there, not only is there a famine coming, but there's another plague coming that's going to hit the earth and a mm -hmm. lot of people are going to die. And mm. I spoke on this on another live, but the Lord said that this is how we, he didn't tell me exactly what, right? He didn't tell me exactly what he told me. He gave me three signs. He said, this is how you're going to know that this is the plague. He mm. said, it's going to, it's going to cause, um, um, respiratory failure, mm. it's gonna cause heart disease, but not just mm -hmm. any heart disease. It's mm. going to be like a, a fast, a quick onset heart disease, right? My God, my and God. It's going to be like an inner ear imbalance. So inner mm. ear imbalance, mm. heart disease, like rapid heart disease, mm. like nothing that we've seen before ever on my earth. God. And God. inner ear imbalance, heart disease, and what I say, respiratory failure. My and God. he said, this is how you're going to know. These are going to be the three things. And I'm just like, I, so I don't know if it's going to be like another COVID type thing. I don't know what mm. it's going to be. Right. And then he said to stay away from GMOs and to wow. stay away from blood thinners. And so you, I'm thinking blood thinners. That's interesting. Like a, a pharmaceutical thing, and, and but someone brought to my attention that Africa was a blood thinner. So I'm mm. just like, okay, you know. Um, so I'm just like, okay, God. The only thing I can do was tell the people. <laughs> but yeah. he did say he did say that people are going to try to buy food. He said, don't worry about trying to buy up the food. Mm. He said, buy things like survival things, like fire starters. Mm. Oh um, my candles. God batteries oh my god oh my yeah. god oh my god oh my god because i feel like the the grid is going to go down and yeah I feel like the power is going to go out the grid is going to go down and it's going to be out for an extended amount of time so i would buy those type of things i wouldn't necessarily be um rushing to try to stock up food because food that's going to be one of the main things that they're going to be taking to try to ration so yeah. i would be more focused on things to help me survive yeah, you know, like um, uh, I had a dream where people were stealing food from each other's fridge, yeah. like the fridges, like they would go to people's homes. And I was like, why are the fridge is empty? And mm -hmm. they were stealing each other's food. And I was like, oh, my God, yeah. it's just it's crazy. Like, oh, mm -hmm. let me tell you. Like the things that the things the Lord reveals to you sometimes, even like with the people dying, like multiple, multiple people dying. Um, he revealed that I think last December. And I was just like, wow, like and so I was there was um a black horse and it had like a red bandana around its neck. And then there was a, there was a Celtic cross and it had like a, the, a similar red bandana around it. And there were graves on top of graves on top of graves. Mm -hmm. And this black horse was just running through those graves. And I was like, oh my goodness. And then he said that it's gonna, it's gonna trickle down into 2023. And so I'm just like, wow, like, oh, man. That takes me back because when the first time I came to Charlotte, mm -hmm. Um, so this is my first time living here. Um, so I came here 
um, last year to Charlotte. But before then, before before I moved to California, I was in Charlotte as well. Mm -hmm. I was in Charlotte. I was in Charlotte for a short amount of time. Um, mm -hmm. But when I was on my way here to Charlotte, the first time I was looking out of the window and I saw a vision. And it was like, I could see God looking down on the earth, right? Mm. But God was in the form of an eagle. He was in the form of a bald eagle. Mm. And um, there were like, I could see mountains and I could see like rolling hills. And mm -hmm. there were gravestones mm. covering, mm. covering all of the hills, right? Mm. Mm. And um, he was looking down. He he was shaking his head in sorrow, right? Mm. And mm. that's what that that's what that is reminding me of. He showed me that back in 2016, 17. And oh I knew I've known since a child that something was gonna come that something was gonna happen in my era, right? Wow. But I just didn't know what. And so when God showed me that, I was like, okay, I'm thinking maybe it's gonna be a war or something like that. Mm -hmm. So and when the pandemic came, I God pressed upon me to reach out to certain people. Mm. Cause he, he kept telling me the a plague is coming, a plague is coming. Mm. And so I was telling people, the Lord had me telling certain people anoint your doorposts my god you know, my god anoint your baby's crib mm. and um and i began to you know pray and intercede that when the mm -hmm. plague comes and it sees the blood because the oil is going to be representative the blood, the blood. The blood. yeah yeah when it sees the blood that it pass over mm. especially my my sister because she had just had a baby oh man and i kid you not it wasn't even a month later they mm. were talking about covid and they was talking about oh my God. um because it wasn't really widely talked about. And I'm yeah. not one to watch the news because I feel so much. I don't watch mm. the news. So mm. I hadn't even heard of COVID. People have been talking about it on the news about it being overseas and stuff. But yeah, I had, you know, I didn't watch the news, so I didn't know. And yeah. so it had came over. It had it had made it over. And yeah. it, you know, people had began to start, you know, getting hospitalized and dying from it. And I was like, Well, Lord, mm -hmm. you just said, you know. And yeah. so I, you know, I was thankful. I was like, well, thank you, Lord, because I don't know what you wow. saved me from. And then the job that I was in, I was in law enforcement. So I was face to face with people. My God. Off the streets and stuff every day. Mm -hmm. mm. And mm. never got sick. Amen. Praise God. Praise never God. Had any, never had any symptoms. I, yeah. a part of the job was that I had to be tested. I had to be tested. Consistently. Never, yeah. never popped up positive. I was My God. Amen. Amen. Faithfully. <laughs> Amen. 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 You know? So it's, Amen. It's, you know, you got to be in, in right standing with God. That's so true. I praise God that I, that I, I didn't get sick either, girl. I was like, L listen, listen, the Lord will protect his children. Um, but mm -hmm. I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad COVID happened the way it did because that's when like he revealed to me that he was coming. Um, yeah. I was like, I was in the bathroom and the Holy Spirit was like, Yvonne, say, say Jesus is coming. And I was like, yeah, sure, Jesus is coming. And then, and then, and, <laughs> and then, he, and then the Holy, the Holy Spirit was like, keep saying Jesus is coming. And girl, I just felt the presence of the Lord in the entire bathroom. And I just kept saying it. And the more I said, Jesus is coming, Jesus is coming, like the more intensified it became. And I was like, oh, okay, he's coming. He's coming sooner than we mm -hmm. thought, you know? So mm -hmm. everything happens for a reason, but he definitely, he protected us both because girl, I was like, I was looking at everybody sideways. I was like, don't even cough my way. <laughs> don't, even cough, don't even cough my way. Give me so, everybody the side eye. <laughs> right. Right. But, um, but now, now to know that something else is coming, like we always got to stay ready and stay prayed up, mm -hmm. you know, stay prayed up and get, and stay as close as we can to the Lord, because we can't do nothing without him. Like, listen, I can't do nothing, mm -hmm. nothing without him. You know, like even the, getting on these lives, like, I'm like, listen, Lord, you have your way, Lord. <laughs> I'm just a vessel. Have your way. You know, I can't do nothing without him. And and I was thinking about it. So I was like, wow, like, I don't even know how people are getting on with life without the Lord right now. Like, I don't know how they're doing it. I don't know how mm -hmm. they're doing it, you know, but, you know, we just got we just got to keep praying. We just got to keep praying. Um, and I just pray that. Um, whoever I come across that I just remind them that the Lord loves us and get close to him and get in relationship with him um, because the times ahead I don't I, girl, I don't know <laughs> I don't even know I'm like, I said, if, if I could just tell like 
some stuff I'm not released to say. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, if if only I could just tell people what I see. You know mm. what I mean? People mm. wouldn't even let's let's be clear. People wouldn't even believe me. They're like, you lying, right? You lying, right. you lying, right? But that's why I press and I stress. Now is not the time. Yeah, to have one foot in the world and one foot in the kingdom is holiness yeah. or is hell. You That's must so live holy. That's so true. I don't know who telling y'all. Look, my mom was preaching earlier. <laughs> <She's> like, <laughs> I don't know who telling y'all that. <laughs> that that uh, God don't care about your sin. I don't know who telling y'all this. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so true. So true. Where she she bad. She ten times worse than me. So, but, um, <laughs> she, she is. <laughs> you want you don't want to get her started. Just, just come here and say one scripture. And it's a wrap. It's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> she going in. <laughs> so, um, God well, I mean, I mean that makes sense though. That makes sense mm-hmm. because you know, like there was um, there was a woman that came on the live, and the Lord was like, "Do you think I would bless your daughter without blessing you first? You know, right? And it, it had to come from somebody, you know, and your mama, it started with your mama and then it trickled down <laughs> to you. <laughs> right. And then it trickled down to you. Uh, mm-hmm. But to God be the glory, to God be the glory. You know, like, I never used to share my spiritual experiences, Prophet Renee. Like, I would not share them. I would be like, listen, I'm going to keep this to myself because I remember as a child, uh, the first time I saw a demon and like, I'm like telling everybody in the room, like it was mm-hmm. my mom, my siblings. I'm like, listen, it's it's right there. Look at it. It's looking at you know exactly and exactly and they looked at me like i had lost my mind as a child and i was like oh okay um duly noted so ain't nobody i ain't telling nobody nothing (laughs) Mm -hmm. i ain't telling nobody nothing i and that's and you know what the enemy will cause you to believe to feel that way to believe that right yeah. he'll whisper in your ear and call and be like girl you can't tell nobody they're gonna think you crazy mm-hmm. you know just stay in the third blah 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 just act like you don't see it mm-hmm. the enemy mm-hmm. try to the enemy try to try to he try to fake you out in your mind because if i true. can convince you of anything in your mind other than what god is saying about you then mm-hmm. i won that's very true that's very very true and you know, honestly like it, it was not the best decision to, to keep from from sharing it because I did not know how to war and like as a mm-hmm. kid I'm like listen I'm just trying to be a kid <laughs> I just want right. to go out I want to have a good time but the Lord is like nope <laughs> you need to see this you need to see that I'm like oh, okay good um but like I just did not know how to war but thank God that even like when you're sleeping because that's when he would attack me the most um thank God for like just saying Jesus because that's when like they would leave the name mm-hmm. of Jesus, you know, the power in the name of Jesus. But I never used to share. And I remember praying to the Lord, like, Lord, I just want to be around people who understand. <laughs> who understand. <laughs> so let know? me ask you something, Yvonne. Um, yeah. So when these spirits used to come to you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, when these demons used to come to you, excuse me. Yeah. Um, do you feel like they were there to just watch you? Or do you feel like they were there to torment you? Uh, both. Both. both 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 but i believe like in the when i was when i was a little girl um there was a lot of watching when i was a mm-hmm. little girl but then as I, I did not know how to ward the 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 older i got the more it became more more torment than yeah, yeah. watching yeah <clears throat> yeah i was yeah. gonna say that i said because ever since since i can remember you know i was able to see in the spiritual realm you know angels and demons um mm-hmm. but for the most part, the demonic, they were there to monitor. Mm. And I remember having it so bad to where I wouldn't even sleep regularly. Like, I would mm. be under the blanket mm. and, like, I would put, like, a little hole just mm. so I could feel it. <laughs> And then I would be, Listen. I would hear them. Listen. I would sense them when they mm. walked in the room. Mm. I would hear them when they entered in the room. Mm. And so I would just be extremely still. And I wouldn't breathe. Mm. Like, I would just hold my breath. You know how you play dead? Right. And then until they left. Or until right. I fell asleep, because right. again, I'm I'm talking about being five, six years old. I don't know what to do, you know. I'm right, right. And um, I right. remember having a vision when yeah. I was like five, mm. having a vision and seeing them. You know how like um, like on Grey's Anatomy or like at the teaching hospitals, they have mm. the observatory where like the the people can watch them as they're performing surgery. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. It was like. The Lord showed me on the operating table and mm. the demons up in the observatory watching. 
Mm, but they couldn't mm. touch me they couldn't get to me so that's how the lord showed it to me and so mm. that's what kind of gave me some comfort because it was like yeah. it gave me an understanding a, a, like a prophetic insight to know that they're here to watch me but they can't do anything mm, mm. wow wow that's that's, yeah. that's 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 amazing that's amazing girl i was i would sleep i would sleep like an owl like one eye open one eye closed <laughs> <laughs> i was hiding I like an owl let me tell you still. Let me tell you. And then I would always wonder why, like when I was when I was by a body of water, like my anxiety will be through the roof. But I understood why when they start speaking to you, girl, <laughs> like those things will, will speak to you. And be like, I'm sorry. What is that? <laughs> what did I, did I think? Did I just hear what I what I thought I heard? You know, yeah. I mean, my goodness. Um, and I just I never shared. I never shared all these experiences. I would just keep them to myself, you know, and then you would try to fit in with everybody. God will be like, no. Nope. nope. <laughs> you didn't fit in there with nobody. <laughs> with nobody. They don't feel like you anyway. So <laughs> you got me running down memory lane, honey. So I remember <laughs> as a child, as a child, my baby sister, me and her are six years apart. So I had to be maybe eight, nine. Yeah. My baby sister had a Buzz Lightyear toy and it was motion activated. Mm. And I remember we uh, where we stayed at, at the time, there was heavy, like, demonic presence. Like, it was just the whole neighborhood, not just the house. It was, like, the mm-hmm. whole area. Mm. And, um, you know, which later we found out that it was, like, a, some type of um, burial ground where they performed all these rituals and stuff. Mm. Mm. But um, at the time, we didn't know that. So, um, I remember me and my brother... <laughs> My brother, he's three year old. He's three years older than me, so me and him are closer in age. Mm-hmm. And I remember it being, it would be night. It would be so pitch black dark, and that come me because my mama didn't believe on leaving no lights on, none, <laughs> not even the bathroom light, like, no lights. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And because because she don't want to pay the light bill, so she didn't believe in none of that. So uh, it would be pitch black in there. Mm. And I remember my sister, my sister's toy just started going off out of nowhere. Mm. I'm thinking. Yeah, not even the stove, Maisha. <laughs> not even the stove. Oh, hey, Maisha. Right. Uh-huh. I think my brother is up doing something he ain't got no business doing. So I mm-hmm. go to sneak and be nosy to try to get, you know, to see so I can get him in trouble, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm, I'm just being honest, get him in trouble. And so mm-hmm. I look, ain't nobody in there. Mm. My sister not even in there. She in the bed with her mama. But mm. I'm like, Mm. Right, wait a minute, why is this toy hair going? So I go get back in the bed thinking, oh, it's just a fluke, you know. Mm-hmm. Then the thing started going off again. Mm. Mm. So I get, I'm in the bed and I start gripping my my cover. I don't know mm. what's going on. Mm. Then it starts going off again. Lord, and right. it's like, so now I'm paying attention, right? So mm-hmm. now I'm paying attention and I'm looking mm-hmm. because I know that I can see in the spiritual realm. Mm. I didn't know how to use the gift, but I knew that I could see. And mm-hmm. it was like, even though I, the Lord didn't let me see it, I mm-hmm. could feel it, and it was like it was walking up and down the hallway. Mm. Mm. And honey, I when I woke up the next day, I was like, asked my brother, I was questioning him, and he was like, <laughs> I thought it was you. <laughs> Lord have mercy. And, Lord have mercy. Honey, mm-hmm. So when we later found out that it was, you know, other things going on, you know, on the mercy. land itself, mm. not just in that particular house, but in the land itself, it was just like, okay, it makes sense. You know, there were so many experiences, so many experiences. But that's oh so gosh. true. That's so true. There was there was there was a man that came on, and the Lord was like, the land that he built his home in was cursed. And I was like, did you pray over your land before you built your home? Because he literally built it from like the ground up. And I was like, did you pray over your land before you built the home? He was like, nope. I was like, you better you better come out of here with those curses. You better come out of here with those curses, you know? Mm-hmm. But the Lord loves us so much that he's like, listen. Because the guy was like, he was having issues with his finances. And the Lord was like, that land is cursed. He needs to come out of agreement with those curses, you know? And I was like, my gosh, we don't even think about it. When you're, when you're building a home, you're like, oh my God, you're excited. You want to build a home? You don't even mm-hmm. think about it. Let me pray over the land you know because people wait until the home is built and then they pray over the home but no no ma'am no no yeah. the foundation <laughs> that mm-hmm. foundation matters you know so it does. 
I mean, I, I know, I, girl. I'm telling you, we we could be we could be here all day going back and all forth, all night, <laughs> all yeah. night, all night going back and forth. Cause I'm telling you, cause I I, I just I, I didn't share these spiritual experiences for so long. Like that's what I'm saying, <laughs> Renee. Like being on on live for eight hours praying for people. I'm like, Lord, who am I? Uh, uh, what have you done to your daughter? <laughs> I know. I saw look when I saw you that day, and I had I had um, got off to do some work, and I got back on. I was like, okay, I see you, Lord. <laughs> You're on assignment, okay, Lord. Okay. <laughs> hey, listen, listen. We we are we are on the Esther fast. We're trying to figure mm -hmm. out what what does the Lord want us to do. Mm -hmm. I was like, listen, Lord, have your way, have your exactly. way. And then I got off, and he was like, "Get back on." I'm like, "Oh, okay, Lord, <laughs> let's get back <laughs> on." I'm, I'm so I'm actually glad I still have my voice because, girl, my voice is like I don't know where it's at. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pray for the Lord to just renew my voice because, Lord, have mercy. Mm -hmm. I think He wants me to 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 keep on keep on trying to go go on live, and I I love it. I love helping people out, and um and praying for them and you know what i really want to share i'm gonna i'm gonna watch your videos again about strategic operational and tactical mm -hmm. and really just try to share that with others because i feel like it's going to be so important in the days Amen. to come and even now huh, listen even now you know um and i think we were i think i was, I was gonna ask you something about like if you have any like anything to share profit about like forgetful dreams like i want to share what i can because a lot of people are forgetting their dreams i'm like listen ain't mm -hmm. nobody got time to forget their dreams in this season boo boo nobody nobody well, has time to forget if their you are dreams, a person you know? that is experiencing that yeah um, you want to when you pray concerning that you want to pray against dream catchers um mm. and dream snatchers Mm. Right, you want to pray mm. against dream catchers and dream snatchers, um, yeah. because they use that. They use um, they use that in witchcraft. It's a way to gather intel. Um, yeah. when, we, when we look at and we think about monitoring spirits, yeah. um, or they'll cause you to forget, mm -hmm. so that you can stay in a place of stagnation, so that you can't progress. Because remember, the Lord reveals things to us as we sleep as well. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so you you really want to uh, be praying about those type of things, too, if you're someone that experiences that. I've I've spoken to people that say that they don't dream. The devil mm -hmm. is a liar. You do dream. You just don't remember. Right. You Amen. just don't remember. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I, I I said the same thing. I was like, the devil is a liar. And no, no, ma'am, we, we cannot be forgetting our dreams in this season. Because you no, know, it says, you know, in the last days, the Lord, the spirit of the Lord will be upon the land and, the, and his children mm -hmm. are going to be, you know, having visions and dreams. I'm like, listen, you better get all these dreams, boo. <laughs> right. <laughs> you better get all these dreams. We need all the information that the Lord can give us in this time, you know. So, my God, thank you, everyone, for um, in the comments. Y'all are awesome. Thank you. Um, <laughs> right. Thank and you, that's funny. Me. It's I'm reading the comments. That's funny because the Lord's been getting on me because He told me to start a podcast, and I haven't yet because I'm like, well, Lord, when you want me to start? <laughs> but it's like <laughs> sometimes. But here's the thing, you know, sometimes when God tells you to do something, He does want you to do it right then. You know, He wants yeah. you to do it right then. Um, but um, and I was laughing because I was like, Lord, everybody and their mama got a podcast. Why do you want me to do a podcast? But you know, <laughs> I'm just being honest. That's <laughs> but you know what? 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 You know you know you know what though, Prophet? Like the um, how many how many McDonald's do you see in every corner? Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How many? How many are there? You know? How many are there? You know? Uh -huh. <laughs> how many are there? You know? And then sometimes you love the one on you know in Northeast and not the one in Southeast. You know? So listen, listen. Mm -hmm. the, the right people will listen in, and I know you're definitely gonna attract a lot mm -hmm. of people on your podcast. You know? Right. Like I really I really believe like. It's like a it's like a blooming flower. Makarasitaraba. Thank you, God. You're like a blooming flower, Prophet. But but a, a, blo a blooming flower that keeps blooming. You know, because you know how you know how sometimes a flower has like a period of time to bloom, but you just keep blooming. You know, like I feel as though, oh my God, oh, God. oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> don't get oh that God. started now. Don't get. I know, I know, I know, I know. I don't, I, don't I, have I, myself in having service. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, like I feel like I feel like he the the way the Lord is just like showing it's like a, a flower that keeps on blooming. My God, I gotta see that about Father. To God be the glory. I'm just so honored. <laughs> I'm so honored. I'm so honored to Amen. To just have met you, Prophet. Like you've just been so amazing. Um yeah, so I really think I'm gonna have a lot I'm gonna do a video of 
just like a, a, a summary of what you taught me with the strategic and tactical and operational um, mm -hmm. warfare strategies and all that good stuff. And then I'm going to, I'll just link you, I'll, I'll add it somewhere so so that they can like go and look at the full video, you know, because mm -hmm. a lot of people need that help, you know, a lot of people need right. that help. So, yeah. But this was amazing, Prophet. Let me tell you, we, we could keep going. We could keep going. Uh -huh. All night, honey. All night. <laughs> Listen, my hair almost dry too. I know my my food cold. My food's cold, but it's all good. <laughs> food... Yeah, because you were smacking. What were you I, eating? I was having um. So it's a uh, three three little uh chanchos nachos from Taco oh. Bamba. Mm hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, girl. It was, it was, it was, it was popping too. But I was like, listen, let me talk to the prophet. Let me talk to the prophet. Let me, <laughs> let me put this down. Let me. Down, you know? My bad, honey. My, my bad. I know you were waiting for that all day. <laughs> I, I just, I just had a memory, a uh, flashback of your mama saying, "You, so you're the reason why I was fasting. You're the reason." Why I, was <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she looked, she looked mad, like she looked mad yeah. but relieved. Yeah. Uh -huh. but she, so you're the reason I couldn't eat. Oh you, you act like you don't want to be saved, but I bet you called Jesus. You, you called Jesus first thing and, and did. And did. <laughs> listen, listen. Hey, at least you were looking cute. You know how sometimes, like, you'll, you'll drive by and you'll see maybe somebody, you know, unfortunately got involved in an accident and they're laying <laughs> down, plastered on the floor. And, like, girl, you could have brushed your hair at least. You know, like, at least brush your hair. Right. <laughs> right. At least, at least you look good. You know, at least you were looking good, you know. But you were like, oh, the, the guy, you were like, oh, nope, I'm good. No. No more no more mm -hmm. of him <laughs> yeah. oh man oh man thank you so much prophet um so you have yourself a great night and um I, do you know you know you know you know when i was nagging you i was like i was like lord we sound like some some needy disciples telling the prophet to get online <laughs> we sound like some no. needy disciples i was like lord but um i think i, I think i actually met, sent you sent you that message because the same way the same way i said it to you i was like lord we, we're just some needy disciples right here like get on the live <laughs> prophet get on the live but but quite frankly mm -hmm. like your your um your lives are just so so peaceful just so edifying so mm -hmm. edifying um and keep keep going whenever you feel it you know because <laughs> you you definitely have an audience like i'll be there girl because literally <laughs> i was gonna i was gonna what was i gonna do i was getting ready to to, to break my fast and then I, I was i was scrolling and i see i see you're on live i was like oh prophet song let me go <laughs> let me go <laughs> right. let me go right. but thank you so much prophet <laughs> no problem thanks all right Oh, you're welcome. All right. Have a good night. You too. All right. Bye-bye. Hey. Hey, what's up? How do I do this? How what do I get I? off this live? I was not expecting to come up. Oh, you wasn't? Why? It sound like you're crying. No, I'm I'm laughing. Oh. how y'all doing all right i feel so honored first of all i want to thank god who's the head of my life girl and i want to <laughs> thank everybody for for you know this is a privilege because you don't let nobody up here so yeah. i'm really woo. hey y'all hey mama I made it <laughs> i think i think i let i think i brought up um david one time if he's still up here he can attest to that and um brother johnny one time that's it yeah wow. that's, that's it i don't i don't be knowing people agenda and i just be like i ain't got time <laughs> i ain't got time <laughs> but god bless you for coming on maisha thank you i don't know if i requested by accident or you actually sent put me up here i seen a i seen your request i said let me bring up for a minute yeah but, um, I, I did want to it must have been god because yeah. i didn't i didn't know i hit anything so let me sit up <laughs> But I did want to say to you though that I've been I've I've seen your I've noticed your growth. Um, I don't really I try not to be on TikTok too much, but every now and again when you come across my um, for you page, I might tap in. Um, but I, I've noticed your growth, and I just want to encourage you to keep going. Just just keep going. Go forth in what God is, is has for you and is is calling you to do. I see the growth, girl, and um. Amen. And, and I see the million dollar mindset that that you are trying to cultivate, you know, and I respect that. And I love that. Amen. Especially being a woman of color. I love that. Especially 
you know, the things I love in. So I just want to encourage you, regardless of the naysayers, regardless of the the lack of motivation, because let's be honest, we don't always feel like doing it. We don't we don't always feel the passion. Amen. But I just encourage you to just keep pushing. Keep going. Amen. I receive it. I receive it because you're right. It's not hard. And I'll never forget that time I came on your live and the Lord used you to speak a word into my life. And amongst a couple other ones, but the word stood out because you spoke a very on time word into my life. And I just grabbed a Mm -hmm. hold of it. And I don't set my prophetic word on the shelf. I actually get the work. And I'll never forget that you said that um, God was saying owner operator and I'm like and then you were saying that God was saying revamp and I was like well God what do you want from me like I don't know I don't know and it's just like everybody had been talking about that suddenly that everybody on TikTok been talking about the suddenly anointed and it hit me like a ton of bricks and God gave me a whole to-do list literally Mm -hmm. And everything like just it just it just happened through God's grace. So I it's not easy, but I thank God for your obedience. And I thank God for just you being set apart because you're not like the others. I know I'm not like others, but you really, you really, you really ain't like the others. And don't care what nobody thinks. So I can respect that. And it's good. It's a good thing. <laughs> it's a good thing to see because we you 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 have to because you're about your father's business so i respect mm-hmm. that so i want to give you your flowers as well like i Thank said you. it's truly truly an honor a privilege and to to be on your platform even for you just to support me in the way every way that you can whether it's i know we don't come across each other lives time but you've always made a point to support me whether it's a comment whether it's a like whether it's a heart whatever to whatever capacity and i just want you to know that i see that and it we do need to sharpen you know encourage each other more because it's not easy and a lot of times what we find in the body of Christ is people start to get real jealous real heavy hearted and they start feeling some type of way and if god is like it's not pleased number one and not just that it's it's plenty of room on the on the table for everybody you know, mm-hmm. and I feel like we get so sidetracked on, oh, well, this person doing this or this person doing that. And God is like, you know, stay in your lane. What's for you is for you. So I appreciate exactly. you for at least acknowledging that and seeing enough God in me to acknowledge it and to, you know, respect the the the, the, the God in me. So I just mm-hmm. thank you. And I never, never, ever, ever forget that word that, that you spoke over my <laughs> life. And then you even down to the clothes, like going mm-hmm. out and how I should dress and like carrying myself in such a way and like uh, some stuff that you said has already came to pass Amen. so i know it's nobody but god and 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 you just you just keep doing what you're doing as well no matter who show up no matter who say you you, you know what whatever the case may be behind mm-hmm. the scenes just know that god is in your life of a truth and that the great work that he started he gonna finish it and ears have not heard i ain't come on the prophecy but ears have not heard eyes have <laughs> not seen and neither has it into the seal of the hearts of man what god shall do he's gonna bless the ground that you walk on everything you touch is gonna turn into prophetic gold Hallelujah! and i'm seeing a conference i'm seeing a building i'm seeing a whole bunch of things that god has in store for you and just know that it's gonna come to pass and mm-hmm. a lot of those people who have counted you out a lot of those people who have sold you out they're gonna have to come back and they're gonna have to apologize and they're gonna have to look in your face mm-hmm. and and you know in that day that that God has spoken but just continue to do what you're doing even down to the finances don't worry about how it's going to happen just know what's going to happen I see people just putting money into your hands just blessing you just being a blessing to your life Amen. and I'm just speaking that forth in the name of Jesus and just know that the way has already been made all you have to do is continue to be obedient and just walk therein even the shifting in the household down to the marriage hallelujah I thank God for that because I, I see a shifting even in that in that area, in that capacity. I'm telling you, you haven't seen nothing yet. You haven't seen nothing yet. So to God be the glory. To God be Amen. the glory. And thanks again. I receive it, lady. And and let me say this, though. 
because it's it's hard, especially when God calls you in a full time ministry, right? And you don't have no you don't have no backup backup plan because He cancels the backup plan because He doesn't want you to trust in a backup plan. He wants you to trust in Him. And so, you know, when God, this is like the third time God has pulled me out of work and said, okay, you're done with that for now. I want you to focus on this. And so now when you are fully dependent on God for everything, right, you don't have no choice but to trust and believe. And so, and I was speaking about this earlier where God is, is he, yes, he, he wants us prosperous. He wants to bless us. But one thing he needs is for our faith to line up for what we are asking for. He needs our faith to line up and to match and to be built up to where he is taking us. That's one thing he told me a few years ago when he told me, he told me to pack up everything, quit my job, pack up everything and move to California. Wow. Move to California. You want, me, you want me to do what now? And so, and I did it. I was obedient. Didn't have didn't have a single plan in, in sight. Got packed my car up, drove, got a hotel, and trusted God. And trusted God. And, wow. you know, every time I do that, every time he has me start over, every time he has me, every time he sends me anywhere and I have to start over, I always end up better than when I started. Mm-hmm. I always end up ele- more elevated than when I started financially um in in job whatever it is whatever i'm dealing with i'm always left higher and left with more than when i started and so we have to have that faith and trust god that when he says i'm going to do it i'm going to provide i'm going to give the provision we have to trust and believe him and have that faith and uh you know and i was talking to god the other day and i was just like god everything you put into my lap I said, I don't want to feel like a failure because everything, everything that you put in my, my lap, I have not um, been able to take off and run with just as yet. But I'm trusting and believing, God, that you're going to make a way to where these things that you are giving me and you are entrusting me with, that you're going to provide, that you're going to give the provision, that you're going to line up the opportunities so that I can take it and run with it. You know, we have to have that faith regardless. You know, the enemy tries to get in your ear and make you feel or make you believe that that you are less than or that you are not capable. But the enemy is a liar because if you weren't capable, God would have never put it in your lap. Amen. He would have never put it in your lap. So, yeah, I, I thank you for that word, Maisha. I, um, you you speak right. You speak right. He, you know, everything you said, he's already told me. Um, but I thank God for the confirmation and they're just a reminder because it's just encouragement to keep going. It's encouragement Amen. to keep going because even when we don't see it, right? Remember, I always talk about, you know, our eyes can deceive us. I always Amen. talk about that because it's spiritual and not natural. So I thank you for that encouragement. I thank you um, <laughs> for being obedient and even coming up and planning on coming up this night. But, um, yeah mm-hmm. so when i see you when i see you and it's a couple other people when i see you guys and you're online and you're you're um, ministering or you're prophesying or you're doing whatever god tells you to do it lifts up my spirit because Amen. god sends me to prophets and he sends me to leaders and these are the people that he has me pour into these are the people that he has me um uplift and encourage and so when i see those that i have poured into in some capacity when I see them going forth in God, it encourages me. Amen. 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 Yes. And God said you can let your guard down just a little bit because I'm loving this side of you. Just a little bit. There's a healing that's taking place even now. Mm-hmm. There's a healing that's taking place even now. And I, I and I know we've all we've all walked through a whole bunch of stuff in life and got, got our background, but God is also lifting up, lifting your spirits up even now. There's a there's a certain level that that he is trying to get pulled out of you. And it's almost like you kind of resisted just a little bit because of things that has happened. But God said, take you just a, just a little bit, you know, just a little <laughs> bit. But I want to speak on 
on what you said and what I always remind myself is that your faith won't fail. A lot mm -hmm. of times when you're doing stuff in faith, it seems crazy to people. I've it quit. Is. I quit. We have the same similar testimony. I quit my job. It's been a month now, you know, and I've tell this testimony every chance I get. And um, the enemy just told me, girl, you need to get your job back. You forgot about that loan. <laughs> and I said, good gracious. You know how we start making up stuff, you know, give, giving us stuff. Oh, I'm going to quit running. Friday and stuff. But I had to reprimand that spirit and I had to say, no, God said this 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 and i had to remind myself so it's not always easy people think it's easy to do oh how did you do that i just made up my mind trust god just like you did and your faith won't fail so like i said i receive all the love and the blessings and i'm gonna continue to run the race and continue to be encouraged and i'm glad that i could i could say something to be of encouragement because i know i know what it feel like you know to 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 want some encouragement and you, you ain't got it so <laughs> To God be the glory for you, sis. I'm always rooting for you, and I cannot wait to meet you. I don't know if it's going to be. I don't know, but I know mm -hmm. that I'm going to meet you and our sister, Yvonne, and it's going to be a wonderful time, and I respect mm -hmm. you ladies. You ladies are like generals to me in the in the gospel, in the body of Christ, and I just I respect what you're doing. But like I said, I, I like this side of you. Keep it up. Keep it up. <laughs> Girl, cause li listen, let me tell you. And, and one thing I tell people, too, is that this isn't something that you want to lust after because I, I see this dangerous trend of people lusting, lusting after positions and title and so-called titles. They call them titles. Um, and and they don't understand what is required of you. Right. When God when God calls you into an office, they don't understand what is required of you. And, and, and God was reminding me of my responsibility, right? Of my responsibilities. And I said, God, this is heavy. It's heavy. But it goes back to faith. It goes back to trusting in God. That's why I'm always telling my followers and I'm always telling people, whoever I encounter when it comes to ministering and talking, to, talking about God, is that God will never leave you or forsake you. But God requires faith. He requires you to trust in him. He doesn't require you to be perfect. He requires you to be obedient. Amen. So, yeah. Y'all, y'all. And another thing before tonight. I go, I mm -hmm. see some money held up. I don't know if you've been waiting on some money, but I see some money held up that is getting ready to be released. Um, Amen. I, I don't know, but that's what I see. Praise God. Amen. Yes, that's that's confirmation. Um, there's been a lot of witchcraft. There's been a lot of things. People coming against me in all manners of different ways. Um, especially people that work close to me. Um, so-called prophetess and and things of that nature that have been literally working things against me. Um, and trying to attack me in the area of finances. And God um showed me the other night that those finances were being released. So, Amen. Um, Maisha, you were in the wow. vein, ma'am. You see correctly. He just showed me the other night wow. that um, those finances and even that person walking up and giving them to me directly. Um, and even when you said that that those that are smearing my name in the mud are going to have to come to me, God, God showed me that as well because I literally spoke um, something into someone to someone, you know, about God, what God was needing to deal with them about, right? about um mm -hmm. something that they needed to deal with they needed to get deliverance from and this person completely turned on me and <laughs> man this com this person completely called me false and called me counterfeit because they were upset that i could see accurately into their life amen mm -hmm. um so they had no problem with any type of prosperity prophecy anything dealing with anything good but when it came down to god wants to deal with this all of a sudden i'm false and i'm counterfeit amen mm -hmm. so and and god showed me that individual coming to me wow. and saying you were right god was trying to deal with me about that and and i wasn't wow. ready amen so you know maisha i i appreciate you ma'am um I feel it. I feel, I feel, I feel it. I feel a preach, but I'm not going to preach tonight. <laughs> right. I was going to say, can we take me down? Cause I'm about to start opening up files and I don't know how deep you want me to go. Lord, <laughs> praise God. I bow out gracefully. Amen. Amen. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let you go. Amen.
Amen. Yeah, Bless <laughs> How did you up here? Okay. Thank you, Maisha. Amen. Keep saying, my feet getting happy. <laughs> Keep saying, preach, let God use you. Amen. So, so people, it's all about being obedient. It's in the obedience. It's the obedience. It's being in obedience. God does not require us to be perfect. He requires us to be obedient. I'm trying to go back up and read some comments. He doesn't require us to be perfect. He requires us to be obedient. Yes, if I could just tell y'all half of the things, amen. Yes, if I if I could just tell y'all half of the stuff, amen. But what's the song? God is a good God, and He is worthy to be praised. God is a good God. And he is worthy to be praised. Amen. Oh, and Yvonne, it was something you said, um, where you said something about, um, like demons in your room or waking you up. Honey, let me tell you something. I don't lose no sleep. The setback was a setup. Amen, it was. Um, I don't lose no sleep. Um, make sure before you go to bed, you set the atmosphere. Before you go to sleep, set the atmosphere. Amen. And if anything enters or if anything disrupts that atmosphere you just command it to go and then you roll over and get some more sleep nowadays we don't we don't necessarily have to to um lose sleep up warring with the enemy amen we can just tell it to go and keep it pushing as long as you know your authority in god honey let me tell you something i have <laughs> I have had a woman, um, and this woman looked Egyptian, like she looked ancient, but she looked Egyptian. And she was standing at the bed, and she was just looking at me. And I was like, I don't, I was like, look, I don't got time. You need to leave, <laughs> get out. You are not welcome here. I think I said something like that, like you're not welcome here. Get out, and rolled up and went to sleep, and went right back to sleep. I don't lose no sleep. I don't lose no sleep. I don't lose no sleep. Exactly. I, do, I roll right on over. I don't lose no sleep. Because at the end of the day, as many angels that stay encamped about me, that keep me company in my room, in my house, I ain't nothing to worry about. Hey Amen. I don't have nothing to fear. So when I'm on live and those and those uh those uh, witches and and people try to come in the lives, they don't stop me. They don't they don't cause me to stumble. They don't put no fear in me. Why? Because I don't fought big and bad in the spirit. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? 
Okay. And what was I saying now? Oh, um, Tina said, what about, she said, what about shadows? I see them and feel them. Those are demonic entities. Those are um, spirits of darkness. Those are demons. Those are demons that you're seeing. You're just not seeing them in their true form. But they're demons. Or you call them angels of darkness. But that's what you're seeing. Same principle applies. Okay. Same principle applies. Um, but what you want to do is cleanse your house. You want to go through and pray. Anoint your home. Um, you want to make sure you close any doors. You want to make sure you break any legal rights. Find out, find out any legal rights, meaning any doors you may have opened, anything you may have came into agreement with, um, anything you're watching on the TV. Um, you don't want to be watching stuff with vampires and, and and all that craziness in it, because those are portals. The television is a portal. The television itself is a portal. So you want to be mindful of what you're watching on your television or on your phone. Um, so you don't want to be watching watching all that craziness because um, sitting there watching it, you are coming into agreement with it. Amen. And those are open doors. So you want to walk through your house. You want to pray. You want to anoint your home. Amen. Amen. Um, mm -hmm. And any any demonic entity entity any demonic spirit, they're not welcome. So you you verbally have to kick them out. Leave now. You are not welcome. You verbally have to kick them out. Once you break the legal rights, once you um, renounce and reject them, once you sever the agreement, once you break that agreement, whatever it is, whatever the door was, amen. And you want to always pray. Amen. Y'all got any more questions before I get off of here? Before I get off. Amen. Good night, Yvonne. Also, I just want to say, too, before I get off, that um, is eating is eating in your dream necessarily a sign of witchcraft? So here's the thing about that. It's not necessarily a sign of witchcraft. It's not necessarily a sign of witchcraft. Um, if someone is giving you food in your dream and you are eating it and you're consuming it, if you don't know this person, um, if you have an eerie feeling from this person, if this person seems um, how can I put it? 
if this person seems very um so really like enthused about making you eat this food there may be something to be concerned about as far as witchcraft um but i personally have had dreams where god was showing me elevation um when it comes to when we talk about we talk about the word of god being meat and we talk about um you know, the babes in Christ drinking milk and things like that. So God has shown me elevation um, through the form of eating in a dream. It doesn't, I, I, I think that it doesn't necessarily mean witchcraft. However, if you wake up and you are unsure, amen, that you all, that you immediately need to pray. So here's the thing. So if I'm in a dream and I'm eating or consuming anything in this dream, when I wake up, I immediately go into prayer. God, give me the revelation of this dream. If I consumed anything in my sleeping life that is meant to hurt, harm, hinder, delay, or taint me in my spiritual walk, I regurgitate it now in the name of Jesus. God, forgive me um, for consuming anything in my in my sleep um that could hurt or harm me and my spirit man god i renounce it and i reject it so you want to wake up and you want that's the way you want to pray you want to pray like that because if you are unsure of what god is trying to tell you in the dream it could possibly be that someone is giving you something in your dream for you to consume that will taint your spirit man amen um which is which is um, a form of witchcraft. So, if you're unsure, that's how you want to pray when you wake up. So when I wake up, if I, I if I have ate something in my dream, um, so and sometimes it's very obvious. Sometimes um, you might eat something in your dream, and it may look like one thing when you're eating it, but it may feel like something different when you're when it's going down. Or it may look like one thing in your hand, in your hand, it may feel like something different. Um, that's another way to tell. But you always want to wake up. You when you wake up, you always want to um, pray in that manner. Because I pray against air. I pray. Listen, I cancel any and every demonic dream <laughs> that the enemy, the enemy is trying to confuse me, attack me. Honey, I pray. I can't speak for nobody else, but I pray. Because the purpose of them feeding you in your sleep is so that they can taint your spirit, man. Amen. So that so that they can cause a disruption in your walk. So you always want to pray like that when you wake up. God, anything, and then, and then also, the Lord will show you what's happening spiritually in your dreams. If there is, if there is an attack happening in the spiritual realm, or the enemy intends to do something, the Lord will show you. the The Lord will show you in a dream, or you will see it in a dream. Because one thing the Lord revealed to me was that REM sleep, R E M sleep, is is a realm. R-E-A-L-M. He said, realm sleep is a realm. Amen. So sometimes when you are having these dreams, you are actively, you are actually in the spiritual realm and you are seeing what's taking place spiritually. So when you have dreams of a demonic nature or you have dreams you are being chased or you have dreams that uh, ex murderer is trying to kill you or you have dreams that that um wake you up and your heart is pounding or or you feel fear or anything of that nature you automatically want to go into prayer and cancel that dream you want to go into prayer and counteract that you want to cancel it and you want to shut it down because you don't want to to um cause that thing to manifest in the natural you want to shut it down at the spiritual level amen
let me see. What does it mean? If you are dreaming, you are in the backseat of a car that someone else is driving. Um, that means that someone else is, is, is trying to take control of your life, of, of your, your spiritual walk. That means that there may be some type of witchcraft in play. Um, there's some type of witchcraft in play. Someone is trying to take control of your destiny, of your life, or of your ministry. A car can represent ministry as well. So um, you want to pray concerning that. You want to pray concerning that. Could you see the person that was driving? I think it was too. Nola, man, could you see the person that was driving? It was you and two other people. Yes, I would definitely pray about that, um, Nola, man. That sounds like a spirit of control. What did you want to pray for? Yeshua, me, heaven. What did you want prayer for? Okay. So moving forward. Moving forward. <laughs> so you guys, um, you know that... I'm going to be um, starting my album. I'm going to be starting my album. Amen. And so there's something that I'm in need of. Amen. Um, in my studio. So I'm going to be raising money, guys. Uh, there's something I'm in need of in order to go forward. So I'm going to be raising money. Amen. So if you would um, like to give so that I could get the project off the ground. Um, I would appreciate it. I would much appreciate it. I would very much appreciate it. So um, I'm going to be starting that as soon as I can. Amen. I have to be obedient. So that was the cash out. Hold on. Let me put it. Oh, McQuilly, you got me. Thank you. Amen. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be starting it as, as um as soon as I can. I've moved around so much, so there's a there's a part that I need for my studio. Um, I can't do anything until I get it. Hey, Amen. She said I was typing. <laughs> God bless you guys. Um. So yes, I'm gonna I'm be starting. I'm I will be starting that album. Um, I 
Amen, Lord. Amen. And I still don't have. God bless you, Maisha. I'm gonna pray. I pray for you in a minute. Um, Zell. I do have Zell. Message. Give me a message, um, Nola man. I'll send you my email. Amen, Maisha. God bless you. Chanel said, "We ready." <laughs> Amen. Um. I gotta be obedient. This thing, this thing has been some years coming, some years in the making, some years in the making. Some years in the making. How many of y'all know that God will take you through a process in which he will humble you? You see, you keep seeing jewelry. Amen. I receive it. Amen. Jury, you mean like selling it? You mean like selling jewelry? Um, not really. I haven't. Um, I like to wear jewelry. <laughs> I make um, different crafts. So I do, I work with epoxy and um, things like that. And so I make all kinds of stuff. I make mugs. Um, I make like figurines and things like that. You keep seeing a bracelet. Mm. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm a real, I'm a creative person. So like when 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 kid when we were kids like people wanted to be outside in the sun running around playing, I, not me. I was the type. I like to be in the house. I like draw. I like to draw. Um, I was very very good at drawing and painting. Um, to the point my mother wanted to send me off to go to school at like an art school when I was in middle school, and I was like, oh, I don't want to do that. But um, and so I've always been creative in that way so like even now I do like graphic design and, and those type of things um but I haven't you know I mean I've thought about making jewelry and stuff but I didn't have the patience for it but um that's what the purpose of this fast is to see how God wants us to move in this next season to see what the assignment is what what our you know what it is that he would have for us to do in this season yeah i've had an online store before but um i did it without god so it didn't really go far it didn't go far because i did it without god just being honest said making it Okay, come on, my you should get me right now. Get me right. <laughs> hey, Amber. Yeah, so have you ever, have anyone up here ever been through a season where God was humbling you? You think I'm supposed to be making it? Okay. I'll look into it. Amen. Pride is a sneaky thing. You can be prideful and not realize it. You think you're going through that now? That must be why he wants me to talk about it. 
She said, yes, ma'am. <laughs> yeah, so that must be why he wants me to talk about it. But pride is a thing. It's a, it's a sneaky thing. Sometimes you can be prideful. He said, I see an invention. Hey Amen. Don't have me appear. Don't have me in here all night putting stuff together, trying to make stuff now. <laughs> um, but pride is a sneaky thing. Sometimes you can be prideful and don't realize it. Hey Amen. I remember a guy. He got me all the way together one day. This was back in like 2017 when I was going through a process, and he got me all the way together. He said, he t you know what the Lord told me, y'all? He said, I need you to come down off that horse. He said, I need you to come down off that horse. And I was like, what? I was like, Lord, what are you trying to say? And as I began to look into it, and I began to research. The Lord was telling me, girl, you got, you, you full of pride. I need you to come down. He sure did get me all the way together, honey. I thought I was doing something because I was freshly walking in the prophetic. I was, I, you know, I, I was here, you know, he called me to be a prophet and everything like that, yada, yada, yada. But I was freshly in, in walking in it. Right. And, and prophesying and feeling good because I'm accurate and, and, and everything and not even realizing that there was pride in me and guys, I need you to come down. Now, I, I'm not a boastful person. I'm not someone. I just like how I am now. That's how I was then. At least I, I thought I was. But inwardly, there was pride. Inwardly, there was pride. So I was never a boastful person. Look what I can do. Like, steward. I wasn't like that. But inwardly, there was pride. And God had to remind me, no, ma'am, no, ma'am. I would have no other guy before me. I, you need to deal with this. And he kept taking me to, to verses dealing with sti stiff neck and dealing with pride. And I was like, am I really like this? I'm not like this. I'm a laid back type of person. I'm not like this. But the Lord had to tell me, I, I read the heart. I read the heart. Amen. So he had to get me delivered from that. So some people, when you may be dealing with pride and not realize it. And so God will take you through a season where he humbles you. Where he reminds you, it's not you, baby, it's me. Amen. So he will take you through that season. Where you have to come to the realization. No matter how cute I am. No matter how good I dress. It's the Lord. That if it wasn't for the Lord. Amen. That if it wasn't for the Lord. He had to bring me to that place. He had to bring me low, baby. He had to bring me low. To make me realize to the point that. Because I, st even though I was trying to repent of it. And, and I was trying to deal with it. That I really hadn't. Didn't even see the depth of it. So God had to bring me low. He had to bring me low, baby. For me to even see it. Okay, God, this is what you're talking about. <laughs> yes, yeah, lower than the floor. He did. He did. And I'm like, okay, God. Okay. Okay. You know, and I had to deal with that thing. You get out of pride by by actively being humble, humble before the Lord. You come out of pride by by actively reverencing God. You come out of pride by waiting on God. Amen. You wait on God. God tells you to wait, you wait. You don't know better than God. 
So if he tells you to wait, then wait. What's that song? Why you trying to figure it out? Is already guys already worked it out. When when God says I, I got this, I'm gonna make a way for you, but yet you're still trying to make your own way. That's pride. That's pride. When God says, "This is how I'm going to do this," but you you steady, trying to make your own way. That's pride. And it, it God had to take me low for me to realize that. He had to take me low for me to realize that. She said he always slapped me on the forehead. <laughs> Amen. That's pride. Amen. In order to defeat pride, we have to take up humility. We have to learn sacrifice. We have to learn sacrifice in order to overcome pride. Worship. Exalting God above all else. Amen. Amen. Hey, Regina. Yeah, it's a confirmation for you. Amen, Chanel. Mm -hmm. That's why I tell people, you think you want this. You don't want it. Be careful what you wish for. You think you want this, but be careful what you wish for. Y'all don't know the half. <laughs> Talk to a true prophet. Y'all don't know the half. Y'all don't know the half. Hey Amen. Let me get off of here. I did not intend to stay up here this long. So stay strong with this fast. Amen. So tomorrow makes what? Day six. Tomorrow makes day six of our fast. Stay strong. Remember to pray. When you get up in the morning, God, give me the strength to complete this fast the way that you would have me. God, I'm seeking you for clarification. God, I'm seeking you for instructions on my assignment, what it is that you would have me to do. Amen. You want to pray like that when you wake up. God, remove any and everyone from my life that is a hindrance that is causing me to be delayed and stagnant, that has malice in their hearts towards me, that mean me no, no, um, that means ill will towards me. God, expose anything in my life that I need to sever, that I need to shut off access to, 
revealed to me everything that has been has been planted in my life to cause disruption. God <laughs> uproot and destroy every hidden seed planted in my life to keep me bound, to keep me oppressed, to keep me stagnant, to hurt, harm, hinder me, or delay me in any way, form, or fashion. God show up in my life like never before. God reveal everything to me that needs to be revealed. Show me every hidden thing in my life, God. Every, every, everything that the enemy stole from me, Father, and hid from me, show me, God, reveal to me. This is how you should be praying during your fast. Amen. Glory to your name. Even when this fast ends, don't let this be the only fast that you do this year. Amen. Keep a life of fasting and prayer. It will only help you. It will only strengthen you. Amen. It will only prepare you. Don't let this be the only fast you do this year. Stay fasted. Amen. Now I want you to know, I'm going to give you a disclaimer. I'm going to give you this disclaimer. That when you pray in this manner and you mean it, people are going to start dropping like flies. Amen. You're going to start dreaming. God is going to give you dreams and he's going to reveal to you things. You're going to begin to see things. You're going to begin to pick up things when you're around people. Uh, people are going to begin to act differently. Amen. Because we're exposing things. Things are going to begin to be exposed. That friend you thought was going to be that, that you thought was your friend that's been your friend for the last 10 years. Y'all ain't ready to hear that. Y'all ain't ready because y'all ain't ready to let them go. Amen. Prepare to be rejected. Prepare to be rejected. It's not a bad thing if they reject you. It's a good thing. Because what God has for me is for me. But God, if there is anything or any, anyone in my life that is holding me back, that is preying on my downfall, that is conspiring against me, that means ill will towards me, if there is anything or anybody in my life that is a hindrance in my spiritual walk, You know, sometimes we have to cut access. Amen. We have to treat the enemy like a narcissist and we have to cut access. We have to go silent. We have to go cold turkey. Amen. Treat the enemy like a narcissist and cut off access. Go silent.
Because that's what the enemy is. The enemy is narcissistic. Amen. The enemy wants control in your life. The enemy wants to, to uh, gaslight you. The enemy wants to, you to believe everything is all good and fine and dandy when it's really not. The enemy wants, wants to keep you isolated. From people that mean you well, from people that can see the danger and tell you. Treat them like a narcissist. I guarantee you, your life will change for the better. No contact. Cut off access, close the door, shut them off, shut them out. Mm. And we command that the thief returns everything that they stole sevenfold. It must be returned. In the name of Jesus, it must be returned. God, if anyone has interfered with our destinies through the manner of witchcraft, through the manner of sorcery, God, we cancel it now in the name of Jesus. We rebuke it and reject it now in the name of Jesus. And we bring ourselves into the into alignment with your perfect will for our life, God. We cancel every plot and plan of the enemy now. In the name of Jesus, we bind the hand of the witch, the warlock, the sorcerer. In the name of Jesus, we render every spell, every incantation. Every charm, every amulet, null and void. We strip its power now in the name of Jesus. And we command it to rot. We command it to fall away. We cast it down now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, God, we lose your joy, your favor, your peace, your grace over our lives. In the name of Jesus, in the name of your son, God. God, I pray that you will open our eyes even the more. That you will unblock the ears so that we may hear clearly, God. God, we ask that you will open the floodgates of heaven. God, we ask that you will open the floodgates of heaven. We receive the blessings, Lord. We receive everything that you have for us. Everything that you are in us, God, we receive it in the name of Jesus. Everything in this next season of our life, God, that belongs to us, God, we receive it now in the name of Jesus. Every trap that the enemy has set, God, let that be the very trap that they fall in. Let that be the very trap that they fall in. And Father, we rejoice now for the victory. We rejoice now for the victory over our enemies. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. 
Mm. Though we may be persecuted, God, we still rejoice. We still come before you with thanksgiving, God. And Father God, I, I pray that you will uplift the downtrodden. Those that, that are heavy with false burdens, God, we ask that right now, God, that you will remove those burdens, that you will break the yokes, that you will break the chains now in the name of Jesus. We loose them now in the name of Jesus. Loose now in the name of Jesus. God, I pray that you reveal every gatekeeper, everything that is in any and everything that is keeping us bound in a season, in a cycle. For I know you to be a God to make a way of escape. In the name of Jesus. God, deliver your people. Deliver your people, God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Mm. Mm-hmm. God, I pray that your holy fire would meet them wherever they are. May your glory fall upon them in the name of Jesus. May your glory fall upon them in the name of Jesus. For not by might nor by power, but by your spirit. Not by might, nor by power, but by your spirit, God. God, we need you, God, we need you. Yes, Jesus. We need you, God, we need you, we need you. We need you, God, we need you, we need you. Yeah, yes, 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 Jesus. We need you, God, we need you. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I uplift my issue before you. Father God, I stand and intercede on her behalf, God. I pray that every crooked, crooked place be made straight. And God, that you will light the path on which you have placed her, Father. That you will guide her footsteps. That not only will you make it easy for her, Father, but you will make it plain so that she may take the vision and run with it. In the name of Jesus, Father, in every area in her life in which she may be lacking, God, I pray that you will place your hand in that area, God, that you will meet every need in the name of Jesus, that you will meet every need in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that you will dispatch your angels to her location, Father, that they would encamp all about her, God. That they would even minister to her, Father, even as she sleeps. In the name of Jesus, that they would minister to her, God, and download to her. Download to her, Father, new ideas, witty inventions in the name of Jesus. God, I even pray that you would stir up her gifts. Stir up her gifts even the more, God. That you would stir up the gifts even the more, God in the name of Jesus, that you will use her mightily in this next season, in this next arena. 
I'm a little shave and see your quarter about how well you are taking her guy. Mm. New heights. New levels, new heights. Jesus, Russia, I don't know if I see. Yeah, 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 Jesus. No, she, I don't know how Oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus. New arenas, Maisha. New uh, new arenas. I see a warehouse. Yeah, 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 Oh Jesus, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, yeah. Oh Jesus, oh Jesus. Mm. Amen. Oh, oh, oh. Lakeisha, are you still here? Lakeisha, I hear the Lord say, put on the whole armor.
I hear him say, put on the whole armor of God. Put on the whole armor. I don't know what this means to you, but I keep hearing him say, stand on my right side. I don't know what that means to you, but I keep hearing him say, stand at my right side. That's a position. Stand at his right side. That's the position he wants you in. So I don't know if you've been asking God, where do you want? Yeah. Pray about it, Lakeisha. Pray and ask God. Pray and ask God. It sounds like a position. I don't know if you ask God, where do you want me? But this sounds like an answer at my right side you did that's what you prayed and yeah it sounds like an answer he's answering you oh jesus oh jesus oh jesus oh jesus oh jesus, oh, jesus. There's no place I'd rather be There's no place I'd rather be There's no place I'd rather be Than at your feet Amen. 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 Let me get off of here. Because I feel like I'm about to, I feel like I'm about to tap in somewhere. I feel like I'm about to tap in. Good night, Tina.
Now y'all know I didn't intend on being up here this long. Not with this, not with this scarf on my head. <laughs> Amen. But it is what it is. I thank you guys for uh, jumping on. He said, "Go ahead, tap this." <laughs> You said she said you said that about two hours ago. I know. I know. Amen, Chanel. At your feet, God. Amen. God bless you, Lakeisha. God bless you, Baisha. Thank you. She said nothing like a Holy Ghost party. All right now. Amen. Hey, LaShawn. Amen. God bless you guys for coming on. Lord, remember, stay strong in the fast. Amen. Don't let the enemy cheat you out of your breakthrough. Stay strong. Remember to be prayerful. Remember to pray. God bless you guys. Um, I may get on tomorrow night. I may get on tomorrow night. Depends on what time I get back in the road. If not, I'll see you Tuesday night. Amen. God bless you, Marcia. God bless you guys. Um, I'll see you next time. I pray sweet sleep and divine rest. Mm -hmm.